I am Brainy Insane. I'm Primo Predicate. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Heritage Hip Hop. Real good. Yeah. Peace and blessings, everybody. Welcome back to Heritage Hip Hop. And I got my brothers from the south, up north, about to give you not only the real, but drop gems on you. And if you're quiet and shut the hell up sometime, you may learn something. Check it out. Introduce yourselves from the right to the left. My name is Primo Predica. That is Brainy Insane. And hey, y'all, welcome to Heritage Hip Hop. Yeah, appreciate it. Well. First of all, it's a pleasure, and I'm very grateful that y'all actually came to see me. Thank you so much. So let's talk some hip hop right now. Let's go. Let's go generic, and let's get big as it gets on. We go into like the, the the parts. You know what I'm saying? So generically. When did you find out you were hip hop and why did you want to do it? I'm gonna say it like this. Uh, when I first heard the first hip hop song that pulled me in was Karis One, Are You a Philosopher? Okay. That told me right then that hip hop was me. You know? yeah. So from that point, I just dug in and tried to imitate until I created who I am. You know? So from there, I took it from all the essence of the true hip hop game, like Public Enemy, KRS One, Rockem, or uh, Game Star. It's, it's a lot of music influenced me. So once I heard that, it just pulled me into it. Okay, Brand, how about you? Say for me, it was. Um, I mean, you know, I'm originally from LA, so. Okay. So. Um, Growing up in LA, you know, of course I had, you know, a lot of influences as far as in WM and like that, but for some reason I I gravitated more to like East Coast, you know, music, you know what I'm saying, as far as when I what I was really feeling and everything. And so what happened was um I had got a Big Daddy Kane record when it first came out there, uh and I, I heard that uh, ain't no half stepping. And after I heard that at the same time I heard I had that Eric B and Rock Kim, I had uh Microphone Fiend, mm. them two songs, like I, they was kind of like back to back and put me together, like you know, man, I I can do this, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I I, I want to do this, you know what I'm saying? And it started from there, and then it just kind of elevated as far as you know, as I grew up, you know, writing rhymes didn't really put it out there too much, you know what I'm saying? Just just like writing poetry and stuff like that. I used to do little poetry slams in high school and stuff like that. Then after, um, after high school, I was kicking with one of my homeboys in that. He was listening to that. He was getting blow, listening to that uh, Ill Matty mm. and tape. And uh, we was lis listening to that. He was he just started flowing. And he just didn't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? We was blowing, he was just flowing. And I was just like, woo, woo. I just, I just let, let one go. And we, we flowed like that tape back to back, probably about like two times, you know what I'm saying? After that, it was just like, I, you know what I'm saying? I was just, I was out there, you know what I'm talking about, real talk. So that was your introduction to you believing that, that was you. That, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, my introduction as far as, you know, was the Eric B and Rakim mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the Big Daddy Kang, but as far as that Illmatic though, that's that's what it just like, it unleashed the beast, you know what I'm saying, pretty much. That's dope, because right now, my interview has already changed and I love it. This is the type of stuff I love because I come in with a lot of questions, but then I don't like to stick to the script. I like to vibe with the people who come on Heritage Hip Hop. So we have somebody from the West Coast and somebody from the South. That is dope because if you really understand the landscape and the structure of hip hop culture, the West heavily influenced the South and the South heavily influenced the world. For instance, one of the greatest MCs of all time that's very slept on is the DOC. Yes, sir. And the DOC, the yeah, he's from Dallas, Dallas but and went to the West LA, yeah. and helped found one of the strongest movements that ever lived in hip hop culture. Let me ask you this. Even when we look at that, hip hop is universal. What makes a West Coast MC and a Southern MC click to know that not only can they find a vibe, but they can they can help push the culture forward and make it fresh and new. Well, I look at hip hop as a universal language mm -hmm. because see, I practice universal conscious, and one thing that I 
teach and try to learn from other people who understand the conscious community that we are one individual, but we are trying to connect together in a universal connection. Mm -hmm. So as a music form, hip hop have all that in one because you can also change up your style from Southern to New York, East Coast to West Coast, but as long as the track is dope and the meaning is there, it's gonna work. So, you know. Yeah, and and basically, you know what I'm saying, as far as like me and him is concerned, like, you know, we've been we've been knowing each other like over 20 something years. You know All what right. I'm saying? Because and, and I'm from LA, but I've been living in Texas for like probably about like 20, 20 three years, something like that. Okay. And so, and I've been knowing him probably about like 21 of them, you know what I'm saying? And so, mm -hmm. so like we really grows and shit, so you know what I'm saying? It just, just we've been, we've been doing this music thing for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Off and on together and stuff, and just, so it just is natural. It just, you know, it, we, we fam, so you know what I'm saying? It's just a natural ass thing, you know what I'm saying? But it just, and at the same time, you gotta understand too, it's a lot of people in Texas that's from California, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And, and probably vice versa, you know what I'm saying? And so it just it just we just somehow just got that nat you know what I'm saying, that natural connection, you know what I'm saying? So it really ain't nothing that's have to be worked on. It's just like you were saying, if you just we feeling that vibe, we just feeling that vibe. And it, just, and it just it just it just work out, just you know what I'm saying, it just mesh together, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's dope cause Southern hospitality was the rule for all people of color even after the reconstruction, after the world war. And in the, in the North, we got a lot of cold shoulder in us because Project Living took away the community aspect of people of color. But poverty always brought us together against a common enemy. In the South, from what I understand, because I've never been to Texas, my roots is more Alabama and Florida. That's my pops is from Alabama. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So when you when you get that side of the of the spectrum, it was we kin, and no matter what it is, you stand with your folk against the opposition because we all we got. When hip hop had, takes on that frame of thinking, we get some of the best collaborations and the best made music ever. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Tell me what makes collabing so fun and so beneficial to you as an individual and to the culture as overall. Well, me, whenever I'm collaborating with somebody, it depends on if I'm starting the song, I'm gonna try to put all my might to make it where the next man can fall into the song. But if I'm falling behind him, now I know what I'm dealing with. So it pushed me to even write my bars even tighter. So, you know, it's always to keep you on point, keep you agile and fresh to keep moving, you know, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? That, I mean, that, that's the same thing as far as, yeah, what I'm saying is as far as the, it, it, it's a, Competition thing, but it's a it's a it's a good competition thing to where you're making the song better. It's not like I, you know, oh, I ain't trying to outshine you. You ain't trying to outshine me. We both just gotta have some fire ass, we want to push. You know what I'm saying? Plain and hot. simple. And so you know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the that's the fun part about it, about it. As far as the the second part you were you saying, as far as the uplifting the culture, it's um. It, that that just coincides with the same thing as far as just bringing like what you were saying like you know bringing family together you know what I'm saying and stuff like that you know what I'm saying it's like this is part of our our culture this is what we do you know what I'm saying and so it's like you know yo you know you you I, I feed off of you you feed off of me you know what I'm saying boom 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 and you know what I'm saying and we gonna, we, we gonna elevate we gonna come up you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying plain and simple I mean it, it ain't rocket science, you know what I'm saying? That just is this how how it, how it should be, but you know it's fucked up. It don't be like that, but that's how it should be, though. You know what I'm saying? A New Jersey artist told me that when she moved to the South, she learned the art of collaboration and not the art of competition, like we have up here. Yeah. So it seems like the collaboration not only keeps the culture, but it keeps it fresh. Yeah. When I think of Texas music, I don't think of one thing. I think of so many arts, like a martial art. Like you have hip hop, but in Texas, you got the origination of drill music came from Texas. Then you got 
Then you got um DJ Screw in the screwed up style, you know what I'm saying? Yes, but then you also got DJ Premier who went to New York and made hey, the New York yeah, sound. Yeah. So Texas has always had its roots in the foundation of hip hop. What makes Texas hip hop to you? And not only that, how does Texas define hip hop to you? Well, the thing about Texas music, it's it's not just hip hop because you have country, you have, you know, if you go to Austin, you hear country music all day long, then you have Mexican Tejano music, and all that is basically infused into one, you know, culture, and if you're a true hip-hop artist, you're going to take the elements that surround you and make it into what you are, but if you're not hip-hop, then you can't do that. Yeah, well, I really, I was just saying like this, you know what I'm saying? Texas, you can't. I can't really just say it. But it's just Texas, you know what I'm saying. It's just, it's just a. If you, if you do go out there, you know what I'm saying. You feel the, that vibe. It's, it's, it's not necessarily a Texas thing. It's just, you know what I'm saying. Just a. And, and you, certain parts of the other state, it's a different you, sound. You just, you just, you just, you know what I'm saying. You just gotta. You, you, if you're feeling it, you know what I'm saying. You just feeling. You ain't really just putting no, no certain stamp on nobody. You know what I'm saying. It's like it's a. Like you say, it's like a universal type of. It's really, people really is sleeping on, 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 you know what I'm saying, a lot of stuff in Texas. It's really a lot of, it's, a, it's becoming a real melting pot, for real. It's like, it's becoming all, all kind of different, you know, styles, but it, people is people really sleeping on it, I'm telling you, for real. Especially Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying, I'm telling you, Fort Worth takes Because really Fort Worth sleep. artists do not sound like Dallas people, artists, they don't really, sound they, like they Houston the artists, town. or Houston artists don't sound like Dallas or That's what I'm saying, it depends on what region of the area you're in and the sound changed constantly like screw was real big in Houston it was it was big in Fort Worth and you know Dallas but Houston is the home of screw so you know it's, it's heavy it's still heavy yeah, now. Yeah, you know certain, yeah, certain spots is certain things is gonna pump more more than others but but you know what I'm saying everybody gonna feel a little bit of, of everybody you know what I'm saying whether they want to admit it or not you know what I'm saying so it's just a universal type of thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know what I'm saying, just kind of mixed up a little bit. Music is an entity. You can close your eyes, you can go to sleep, but at the end of the day, that music still got to go in subconsciously. And once it ended up, you in.